Can you guys hear the music in the background? I hope not, but if you can, bounce along to the beat. Hopefully it doesn't give me copyright. Okay, <laughs> let's go do it. So if you haven't guessed already by the title, I'm going to be doing a like foundation makeup look, like a makeup routine, like everyday makeup look that's a bit, bit, bit glam, bit not I guess. That's for like acne prone or acne skin because if you guys can't see already, I have a few acne breakouts. <laughs> Do you see that? Boom, babe. Boom. There's a nice little selection up there too. So, my skin, yep, my skin has broken out again. It was good for like. A good amount of time. Like, I feel like the whole time, I, towards the end on skin shot, my skin was just gorgeous. It was fabulous after skin shot. It was doing real good. Went on holiday, it was doing good. Sea water was really helping it. But then I like come back and like. This happens. Do you see how impressed I am about this? Like, I, to be fair, it's Easter time and I have been. Like, you know, indulging myself in a few, like, gluten-free hot cross buns. But don't judge me. It's Easter. I never do. So it might be the sugar. But if, yeah, if you guys have any natural little, like, home remedies I could try, let me know. Or any products, like, natural skincare products. Especially a cleanser. I'm in, look, I'm in, like, the market for a good, sustainably made, environmentally friendly, natural, organic, cleanser I know that's a lot of words that's kind of what I'm looking for I know you guys have been requesting a skincare routine I just haven't found anything that I really really like yet like that has like been my staple so I have to get back to you on that so I'll get back I'll get back to you on it anyways let's get to this fine shower so in my tip number one for this routine foundation makeup routine water guys if you want to give a nice proper base like if you want to get a nice healthy base you've got to flush out all the toxins and water will do it so I always recommend water tip number two is moisturizing so I might just zoom in for this so if you can't tell already like my skin's quite dry especially on like oh my gosh it's like it's so dry here. They're quite critical. Like, they're just crusty. They're healing up. They're just a bit dry. Anywho, I'm going to go in with a moisturizing primer. You've probably have seen this one before on my channel. So this is the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming <laughs> Moisturizer. And it's good for sensitive skin. Like it's not going to kind of break you out. So I'm just dotting it on the more so like breakout areas. That's the word I was trying to say. So, oh, and especially like just lathering it on over here just to give a bit of moisture back to my skin. Oh, and it feels so much better. I'm not going to apply like a heavy coat, only a little bit. It's already made my skin look nice and glossy, which is nice. So, I'm just going to let that sink in a little bit and then I'm going to use a mattifying primer on the areas of my face where I get oily, so like my T zone. Oh, wait, before I apply my mattifying primer, I'm going to go in with some oil just over my acne spots. So this is a Joba Joba oil. It's 100% natural and it's made in Australia. It's got vitamins and antioxidants and it's like a rich moisturizer. So I've actually been using this as my moisturizer since my face and body one from Puda ran out. Because I have heard Joba Joba oil is really, really good for acne. Because it acts like a, um, it basically it's kind of similar to your own oils, like the sebum oils on your skin. So it can really, pen I don't want to say the word penetrate, let's say a different word. So it can really like reach into your skin and like really soak up through those layers. So it really like moisturizes from the inside out. 
only thing is, guys, if you're going to use an oil underneath your makeup, you want to make sure that you're not using a water-based primer or foundation. If you find that you're using an oil and a water-based primer slash foundation, they're going to separate on your skin because, you know, when you put oil, um, oil on top of, like, water in, like, a cup, the oil is going to separate from the water. They're going to sit on top, and that's what's going to happen with your makeup. They're going to separate, so you're going to have a layer just sitting on to, on your skin. It's not going to soak in and look like skin. So that's a big tip that I learned the whole way, but, you know, you live and you learn. Stabbing it on the places that I just need a bit more moisturiser. I'm avoiding my T-zone because I do not want um, extra oil sitting under there for now. Usually I'll apply it all over my skin. I'll do a nice layer all over my skin before I go to bed at night or after I've cleansed my skin in the morning. And I just find that just has helped a lot to stop the crustiness and the dryness to them. Like it'll just make them look more moisture. They sit better underneath the makeup. So next I'm taking my 100% pure mattifying primer. This is 100% natural. I believe it's got seaweed collagen in it. Yeah, 100% natural, 100% vegan. Whoa! So anywhere where I feel it just needs it. I'm just kind of, yeah, pushing it in. Avoiding this area because that's kind of, like, as you can see, that's where my breakouts are. So next, I'm actually going to take my Milani foundation. I don't know if this one has water in it, but I only use a small amount of that um, oil anyways, so I think it should be fine. Like, I don't think it'll separate. Like, if it does separate, I'll let you know down below in the description bar. Like, if I if throughout the day I'm wearing this and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's separated, hun, I'll let you know. But, should be fine. So I'm taking my Milani 2-in-1 foundation plus concealer in the shade medium beige. It may be a little bit light for me, but the EX1 foundation has water in it, and I'm not going to be risking that. So... I just have a little bit lighter and bronze up the skin anyways. I'm going to take my F80 Kabuki brush from Sigma. I just love applying foundation with a brush lately. It gives me more coverage and I just feel like it just sits quite well on the skin. So for concealer, I'm going with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen. And just applying that under my eyes and priming my lids with that as well. And then I'm taking my cute little beauty sponge from Eco Tools, basically just pressing this into the skin. Then doing my usual technique with my Glips Press Powder and a dry beauty sponge. This is the Chi Chi one. I'm just gonna go and press a light layer of that powder under the eyes and over my lid area to set the concealer in. And I don't want to set set like anywhere else yet because I'm gonna cream bronze. So I've just done it like here so I can still do the bronzer everywhere else. So I'm going to take my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. And I love this to bronze. I'm just going to place it on the outer edges of my face. And also bronze on my nose as well a little bit and like jawline. Just anywhere where I want to warm up the complexion. I'm using a cream instead of like a powder straight away. Just because I feel like a cream will look more natural on the skin and it's not so drying that's going to cause that crustiness to form over the breakout since my breakouts tend to be on the outer perimeters of my face. So this just works better for me. And I'm just dabbing it in with my beauty sponge to help it melt into the skin. And that's like the bronze on the skin. It's so pretty. I just think, oh, bronzing, like cream bronzing, I think is like my favourite thing to do. I just love the finish. And it's so pretty. I'm just going to do my brows real quick and be right back, hun. <laughs> so these are the brows on. I just used my brow pencil from LA Girl and then I used some clear brow gel just to sweep it through and get all the hairs in place. So let's move on to the rest of the skin, which will be a pretty simple. Like I'm not going to go too in depth. I think I might just chuck a light light like light layer of like a matte bronzer over the clip cream just to set it in place not really to add any more bronziness to the skin so i'm just going to take my Barbados babe bronzer from micellin and apply this over with my chi chi bronzer brush the reason why i'm just using light layers because i don't want to dry out my skin too much. I'm gonna go over with that setting spray again to just kind of give it help it melt in and also just moisten it up a little bit. 
but otherwise I'm not going too crazy with the bronzer. I just slightly like gave a bit of chiselness to my cheekbones as well just because I like a bit more carved outness. I don't think I want a bronze I want a contour today. I think I might just leave it with the bronzer. Just because I don't want to add too much more powder to it or anything else like too much to the skin and plus I just like a bronze for a more natural everyday look not really contour and if I didn't say it already the reason why I used um, the matte bronzer is because I don't want to use anything too shimmery it's going to highlight all of the breakouts and texture on my skin which is not really what I'm going for so that's why I'm just keeping it matte today but I definitely will highlight like girl I never leave the house without like a gorgeous highlight because I just love it so much okay so let's move on to the freckles so for freckles I like to use my brow pencil it's the one from LA girl that I use for my brows and what I do is I just apply freckles over my breakouts so anywhere that's like broken out I'm going to, and even like on natural freckles I have or like beauty marks I'll add them just because it disguises them it's my favorite thing to do guys this is that my little trick it's gonna be like a little beauty spot right there I'll just do it on the very head of the of the breakout I won't usually go like and I have like a massive whopping circle on my face so I just do it because really freckles appear just anywhere and I just concentrate the most freckles on my nose so it kind of just spans out so with a little foundation on the back of my hand it's just to kind of give a bit of something like you can just use a damp beauty sponge if you want but I just put a bit onto the blender and then I just go over top lightly and just blend these babies in I just find a brow pencil just um, just melts into the skin more so than like an eyeliner like a brown eye coal and there we go so next I'm going to do highlight this is like my favorite bit so I'm going to do my usual technique that I've really liked doing lately so first of all I'm taking my master chrome highlighter from Maybelline in the shade molten gold it's so beautiful just give you such a gorgeous like bronzy highlight like a glowing goddess and I'm just grabbing my eco tools beauty sponge and spritzing it with some um, setting spray and applying it to the high points of the cheekbone so like I said in my previous videos guys if you have really bad acne on the high points of your face then you can feel free to skip this step or just put some highlight like around the breakout and for the rest of my face I'm just applying it with a brush and then I go back with the brush on the very high point of the cheekbone and apply some more of that highlight to that spot Ooh, girl. and I also apply some to the very high point of my brow bone because I quite like a bit of a pop there I mean you guys can apply some to like the high point of your brow and stuff but I don't really want to I just find it looks like it just brings too much attention to the breakouts above my like on my forehead so I'm just going to skip that and just set my face finally with some setting spray then I'm going to do a lip colour so for my lips today I changed up a little bit I went in with a eyeliner so an eye coal and lip like did a lip line and like filled it in just for a deep brown I don't own a deep brown lip liner so I just like I said lined my lips and filled them in and then over top I went in with pale plethora from Zoeva it's a gorgeous matte liquid lipstick it's like a pinky nude and I applied that on the center of my lips and like kind of created an ombre and then I wanted more of like a glossy finish so I went over top with a gorgeous lip gloss it's the undressed shade from dose of colors and I went like and apply that to the center of my lips and kind of like ombre it out as well so it creates more of like a fuller poutier lip so that's what I did today and this is the finished product so 
I also want Anna to do my hair off camera, guys. So what I do is I just braid it, meet it in the middle, like boy pin it, and then I just curl the extra bit so it looks really loose and undone. If you guys do want a hair tutorial, I can definitely do that for you, so let me know in the comment section below. Along with any other requested like videos that you'd like to see, I have got a few that I'm going to be filming in the next few days, so... I hope you enjoy those. But otherwise, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you do have acne, this is just my go-to lately because of just how my skin's been going. I know this video was kind of long, but I hope you guys don't mind. Like, I'm just ch chit-chatting with you, different like ideas and like how things have worked for me, what best to do, what best not to do kind of thing. But otherwise, this wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you do have any requests, like I said, leave them down below. Along with any other comments or anything. I don't know where I was going with that. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.